this rig really isn't a secret, but it can be a very productive way to figure out what depth and what color. And also another way for forward facing sonar users to be able to see their jigs, but present two jigs at the same time. What's going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to Turner Fishing. I'm Steven Turner. And if you love crappy fishing, you're in the right spot. So make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me, subscribe down below. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a double loop knot jig rig. That's a mouthful, but I'm going to explain it to you. So right here we have four pound high vis line. And I have it on a Mr. Crappy rod and reel you can pick these up for around 20 bucks on amazon or even at your local walmart this is a beginner rod and reel but the rod and reel really doesn't matter right now as you can see behind me it is dark we're out here making jig I'm going to showcase is we're going to have a jig up here and we're going to have a jig down here so normally when i fish if I'm casting with live scope to open water fish or even brush piles sometimes, I will put a split shot above my jig to be able to see it better on the screen. And also if I'm vertically jigging, like with 2D sonar, if I'm on top of a brush vertically jigging, I don't know the exact depth that I want to present my jig. So having one jig at one foot and another jig up here. And if they're biting this one, then I can move this one up and see if they were to bite that one. It's kind of self-explanatory. You've got two ways better than one. So let's jump right into this so I don't waste any more of your time. So first off, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let out a pretty good access of line, about a rod and then some lengthwise. Just so you, I've got enough room to play with it. So we're gonna start off by tying what the, what they call a surgeon loop knot. Very simple loop knot. Now the reason we're, we're using a loop knot is because no matter what, your jig's gonna be free on the loop and able to present itself in the best possible way no matter how you throw it. But the trick to this one is instead of using just enough line to make the loop we're going to use a little bit of excess line so we've got the jig here and we've probably got about two and a half foot off the jig so we're going to take it and get it we're going to get two pieces of it just like this and we're going to take two fingers and we're going to wrap it around now you're going to make a loop between your two fingers and you're gonna put your jig through it one two three but on the third one you're gonna grab it with the jig head and pull and you see that's coming to the jig head and right where you want your loop you're gonna pull it off and pull it tight so what that does is create a perfect loop knot so now we've got our tag in and as simple as anything else we're going to take our tag in and we're going to replicate what we just did you don't have to worry about putting the line back through the eye of the other one to make sure it's perfect the loop knot take care of everything so we're going to thread this one up Just like this, we're gonna pull it to where we want our jig. So I want my jig about a foot up, just like that. So now we're gonna wrap it around our fingers and we're gonna go one, two, three. Grab it with our jig head, pull it almost to the eyelid we're going to pop it off and then pull it tight. So now we take our tag in. 
we cut our tag in off as close as you can but it doesn't really matter because if, if the fish can't see this then what does the tag in matter I'm just saying <laughs> so what you end up with we've got a monkey milk stinker and a crappy man green both on loop knots so this may look crooked to you right here but the trick is soft plastic rises so when this is in the water it's going to be perfectly aligned just like that and then when this is in the water it's going to be perfectly aligned so give that rig a try it's, it's super fun sometimes you can catch two at a time and the loop knot kind of helps with that so give it a try Make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button for me and I'll see you on the next one.